Old world meets new at Sterley's Country House. This Cleveland landmark takes traditional Eastern European food and pairs it with new brews. Having originally opened in 1954 as the Bonna Cafe, Sterling's Country House has changed more than just its name over the years. Frank added on to the place as he had money. Didn't want to get any loans from any banks or borrow from anybody. As he accumulated, he would add on another 500 square feet, add on another 1,000 square feet, and eventually built up the top to make it look like his father's um, you know, hunting lodge in Slovenia. It's been an ever-evolving you know, work in progress, but it's always, you know, we've tried maintaining the same tradition of the place where it's a very family-friendly place. Um, always have live polka music on Friday and Saturday night, and it's, you know, the traditional Eastern European Slovenian fair. I'd say the top three dishes that we have uh, are, are classic Wiener Schnitzel. It's hand-pounded uh, veal cutlet off the leg. It's Basically, it's, it's, if you've had veal parmesan, you've had Wiener Schnitzel. It's dredged in flour, egg wash, and breaded, and then it's pan fried. Just typically served with, with a lemon, that's all it really needs. Try their chicken paprikash. This famous Hungarian dish is served over dumplings. And of course, their house-made Slovenian sausage. I approached the owner about getting a smoker. I was thinking of a small little like 48 inch tall box and said he went out, he bought a, a, a gigantic Texas thousand gallon smoker. So now we can do about 250 pounds at a time. So we're making everything in house, everything's getting double ground, cased here and smoked here. There's dozens and dozens of restaurants opening up and closing and, and they all have new concepts and you know, the, their own twist on American classics and you know, new wave American, which is great, it's great for the city, but I, I think one of the things that gets necessarily overlooked but not as, not as frequented as much as, as some of the staples in Cleveland that what they are, what makes Cleveland, Cleveland. I, I definitely think Sterley's is that. We've continued the tradition for the past 60 years and you know, we're gonna keep carrying it on for another 60. In keeping with Frank Sterley's tradition of expanding the country house, a beer garden was created, bridging the gap between the old world and the new. The idea for the, the beer garden is, is to have a, a different concept of food that's kind of similar to what we do inside at Sterley's, but with at Sterley's, it's, the place has been open for 60 some years and trying to, to touch the menu or do anything different for any of the foodies in town, it's, it's pretty difficult to do. We've been trying to stay in touch with, with the old generation and keeping that tradition alive and trying to bridge that gap between the old and the new and you know, keep that intact. There's a little bit of a carryover as to what Sterley's does inside that we can do outside with the, the, the smoked sausages or bratwurst or spicy Hungarian. Uh, there's a 36 foot bar outside. Uh, we have a beer cooler outside with a tap system out there. Right now we are we're getting five beers made for us. They've, they've all got Sterley's Tap Handles names. Our Bloody Mary bar, we're making our own Bloody Mary mix. One of the nice things about our Bloody Mary bar is we're house pickling in 20 different items, whether they're cucumbers, peppers, onions, okra, some kind of random things to you know, put on your Bloody Mary. I like my Bloody Mary spicy, so we have half a dozen types of pickled peppers and pickled cucumbers and stuff out there. Buy a pitcher Bloody Mary, you know, for three, four people, go up and make whatever you want. You know, add things as you go. The Cleveland Fleet will be the second Saturday of every month. The first one we did was in July. And they brought about 80 vendors and we maybe saw maybe 2,000 people. By the time we had the last one in October, maybe 105, 110 vendors, probably upwards of six, 7,000 people. They're all local vendors. There's people that are selling spices, there's people that make soap, there's, I think the last one that we had last month, there was 30 some food vendors, including us. 
it's it's great for all the small businesses in Cleveland, and it's it's great to get everybody in from the west side, from the east side suburbs, and people from the neighborhood to come back down to, to 55th. And with all the expansion and revitalization happening over in the East 55th neighborhood, Sterling's will also be a part of it with their brand new brewery opening in spring of 2015.